If you are second guessing your abilities or feeling like you're going to get found out that you really don't deserve whatever good break has come your way, whether that's an opportunity, maybe you just landed a job with some pay raise and you're like, oh God, deep down, you're like, is this going to get taken away? Am I going to get found out about? Congratulations. That is imposter syndrome. And that is a sign that you are stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something new. Welcome to the Introverted Influencer Podcast. I'm your host, Erica Van Slyke. My soul's mission on this planet is to help fellow introverts grow their online influence in a state of feminine flow and ease. While battling the woes of depression, anxiety, and even mom guilt, I've somehow managed to build a six-figure blog without the use of social media and without sacrificing my mental health. If I can do it, you can too. Hello there, beautiful. Welcome back to another episode, episode number 74 of the Introverted Influencer Podcast. So today I want to talk to you about the common phenomenon of imposter syndrome. And I just want to share my own experience with it. It's been rearing its ugly head with the, the brand deal that I got about a month ago. I was not pursuing a sponsorship and I was approached to enter into this contract. And I said, basically the initial offer, I was like, eh, it's the money wasn't really worth my time to do it. <laughs> Even though it really wasn't that bad of an offer, I was just kind of like, it's not my vibe it's not my thing. Like I am very selective about who I do sponsorships with and I hardly ever do them. So I initially turned it down. Then they came back and the offer was like more than double. And I was like, whoa, okay. (laughs) I guess, I guess the universe is saying that I need to step out of my comfort zone and do something new and try a new way and, and show up more. And then there was a little hiccup. It's, There was a hiccup with the contract, but my imposter syndrome lurking deep in my subconscious freaked out. And so I thought I had this deal. And then there was a glitch in how they were paying me to do some of their products, use them in this assignment. And when I checked out using all their products, like purchasing their products with this gift card they'd given me, it was like, there are no funds on this card. And I was like, what the hell? Like immediately it was imposter syndrome because it was like, oh, the ego trying to protect me was like, oh, you didn't get the deal. They found out, you know, you really are not that big of an influencer. You don't have that many followers. So I'm sure that the insufficient funds on this card are because you don't deserve this sponsorship. You're not good enough. You don't have enough followers. You don't have enough clout. That's where my mind went. Silly. I know I should know better. And so then I had to approach them and say, okay, Hey, what happened? And they were so apologetic. They ended up coming back. It was like a few days where I had to sit in this really weird, like maybe you didn't really get this deal. And now you're going to be embarrassed because you told people you did. And it's, it's all going to fall through because they found out about you that, you know, you're not really that great. And they came back a few days later and they're like, actually, you know, we put even more money on this card for you to use. It's me kind of incorporating their decor and their products into a project. So I I couldn't believe, you know, being in this industry, being a profitable blogger for nine years, and it's actually nine years this freaking month that I would still have those thoughts, you know, even after being published in like Better Homes and Gardens multiple times, like Domino Magazine, like in all these publications, and I'm still having these like this mental bullshit chatter going on. But then there was this beautiful calming sensation washed over me as I was kind of like, what the hell? What is wrong with you? You should know better. You should be more secure with yourself at this point. You should be more secure in your abilities. And it's like this beautiful angelic kind of presence came in and And it was just this, I don't even know if it was a voice, it was just this knowing. And it said, or I interpreted it as, congratulations, you are stretching out of your comfort zone and you're doing something new. This means you are growing. So I knew I was going to have to share this with you eventually. So I'm here today to tell you, if you are having these thoughts too, if you are second guessing your abilities or feeling like you're going to get found out, 
that you really don't deserve whatever, whatever good break has come your way, whether that's like an opportunity, uh, maybe you just landed a job with some pay raise and you're like, oh God, like deep down, you're like, is this going to get taken away? Am I going to get found out about? Congratulations. That is imposter syndrome. And that is a sign that you are stepping out of your comfort zone and doing something new. So I want to applaud you and I want you to reframe this too. Instead of feeling icky about it and then just kind of like condemning yourself, like, why am I such a loser? Why am I so hard on myself? I should know better. I've been doing this self-development work long enough. Why am I even allowing myself to go there with those low vibe thoughts? Just know it happens to all of us. I've been doing this for a damn decade and it still happens when I am in these new opportunities. Okay. So that's actually imposter syndrome is a good sign. And to kind of, I don't know, help you work through this. Let's number one, step one, what we just did, we're reframing it as a positive. And number two, let's look back on the times where we felt that before in our life. I can, I can bet you, you still got through it with flying colors and you excelled in the situation, even though you were wondering if you deserved it in the first place, if it was going to get taken away from you, chances are, I want to bet that marked a period of new growth for you, whether that be growth where you, you really developed a new set of skills. You learned about yourself and what you're capable of in in ways that you never would have if you were still in your comfort zone. And then, so, so you learn those skills pertinent to whatever opportunity you were given. Right. And then you were accumulating more security and confidence within yourself. Like from a broader scheme, from a, from a broader sense of, of your self-development journey. So it's kind of like you're putting that in a bank and you're, you're accumulating that, that trust in yourself to where it, that imposter syndrome, it, it shouldn't hang you up for like too long. When you're a noob, when you're a little baby, you might let that kind of throw you off track a little longer than it should. But as you prove to yourself that you can handle new and challenging, exciting opportunities and that you're worthy of them, it's you work through it faster. So luckily I was able to get out of that weird place way quicker than earlier in my life. So I also just in my experience, at least I want to say that we can trip ourselves up when we think, oh God, but this time it's going to be, this time I am going to fuck it up. (laughs) This time I am going to make a fool of myself. This time I will let people down because it it feels like that when you're in the midst of of a new challenge, when, when you're butting up against a new edge, it's always, it always feels like that. Like this is a time where I'm not going to get it right. No, no, no. Look back over your life and see where it's always worked out. You've either acquired confidence from conquering something, or even if you did fail, I'm going to put like the um, air quotes around fail because number one, at least you tried. And through that perceived temporary failure, you learned something. So you're going to be okay. You deserve whatever good comes your way. And just know it's totally normal what you're feeling right now. But you need to center yourself, ground into it, regulate your nervous system, and know that you are fully freaking capable. You got this. So congratulations to you on your imposter syndrome. That is a sign of your growth and your up-leveling, baby. And I'm going to send you so much love. You're going to rock it. You're going to do great. God's not going to give you more than you can handle. And with that, I'm going to wrap it up and I will talk to you again soon. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. I make no money from the show. Actually, it costs me money to produce and host. So the best way you can show your support for this passion project of mine is by leaving the show a five-star rent review on 
Apple. Also, if you would like to contribute monetarily to the show, you can leave a tip in my digital tip jar, which I have the link in the show notes. You can always share it with a friend who you think could benefit from the message or even better. You can take a screenshot of this episode, upload it to your Insta stories and tag me in it at Designing Vibes. Sending you my love.